Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video and this time I want to do something a little bit more different um, for you guys and it is how to improve your overtaking, um, particularly on a set of course of competition only where it's so much about how you set your moves up and how much you pre-plan your moves as in opposed to some other games where you can just sort of throw the car down the inside and um, yeah, for me, three steps that you need to... to um, use on a set of course competition is you need you need to plan your moves you need to set them up and then obviously the execution in the end so um yeah be patient patience and planning the setup and the execution is the main three steps that you're gonna need to take to make sure you complete in your overtakes and even to gain more overtaking opportunities because when you are the same pace as somebody else in the, on this game it is pretty difficult to actually get past even the differences between cars um, there's only sort of a few car and track combinations where if you're in the right car it's pretty easy to make the overtake but generally speaking it's quite difficult when you're racing against people who are similar pace to yourself to actually get the moves done so here's a sort of a footage that i got from i think it was ad ace um, and i'm going to show you how setting up the move from four or five corners before ends in an overtake at turn one at barcelona and um yeah it's pretty crazy that uh you sort of have to make sure you you get this done it's a lot closer to real life and you'll see here um ADAC takes sort of a, a wide line into the corner and that makes the car ahead make, take the tighter line and a set of course of competition is all about your exit speed it's not really about how much you throw the car into the corner it's all about how you get out of the corner and you'll see here again as we come up towards the chicane right at the end notice how he takes a much wider line into the chicane and the car ahead takes a shallow line because he's wanting to defend and that totally messes up his run ADS actually hits the curb there which uh, should have actually slowed him down but he still gets a better run and obviously once you get into the slipstream uh, the Ferrari head doesn't actually defend too much but once you get into the slipstream it gives you the advantage but it just shows you how much earlier you have to think about your moves um, if you don't plan, if you take sort of, if you just follow the car ahead and take a similar sort of line to what they're taking, it is pretty difficult to get the overtake. So now you see where we are here on the track. Now, if you look at ADAC's trajectory compared to the Ferrari, he's much wider going into the corner. So therefore, he's able to get on the power quicker. And you can see here that Ferrari taking the shallower line is going to have to wait before they get on the throttle. And um, that is pretty much most of the time when you're on a set of course. So you, when you're trying to make overtaking maneuvers, you need to sort of three or four corners before the place where you actually want to make the move. You sort of need to kind of make the guy ahead, not defend, but sort of take slightly shallower lines just so they feel like they got the position covered. But in your mind, you need to be thinking about the, the, the opportunities up ahead and what you're trying to build up to because it's very hard to just spontaneously make the jump and make the overtake because it's a pretty hard game to overtake. I've been stuck behind people that are slower than me and literally haven't been able to get past. I think it happened to me at Spa recently where I was just stuck behind the Lexus literally for half the race and I never actually got past because they defended really well and I wasn't able to set the moves up properly and it was just extremely hard to get past. But that's what one of the things I do like about this game. You can see now where that whole move started from compared to where it's executed is is completely uh different to some other games like like project cars this is some footage from from my perspective i was in the porsche i think this is the competition server i believe it was a competition server race at nurburgring again we just come out of turn turn one and two i believe at nurburgring and i was right behind this audi and it it took me uh it took me quite a while to um get even close enough to to start setting and planning the move but in the end um sort of the the way my thought process into to overtaking maneuvers the way it started to work is I, I know you have to sort of try and put the guy offline even if it's slightly you got to try and put them slightly offline before you're able to really get close enough to even gain the opportunity because sometimes it's, it's quite close to drive it's quite hard sorry to drive real close so you you realize already i'm already taking wider lines into every corner um, and just as we come to this section here just notice the slight difference in lines that we take for this corner i throw him a little dummy so he goes a little bit shallow and then i'm able to push through the corner because i went in a little bit wider and there he feel, he feels like he has to defend 
and that's why I, I move to the left to go back to the right so I can get a better exit on the corner and this is not a, a stone cold over overtaking opportunity but it's it's given me the chance it's always better to give yourself the chance as opposed to just following the cars lying ahead and just hoping you can just dive bomb it down the inside because if you're racing someone who's similar pace chances are you're going to be breaking in uh, a similar position so it's going to be quite hard for you to make the opportunity um, stick but um, for me as I said we'll go back and have another uh, have another look at it and you'll see again um, as we're behind the car the different lines that we take oh I've gone back too far um, yeah the different lines that we take through corners is really what gives you the opportunity if you just sort of stick to the racing line that you always stick to it is pretty hard to make the make the the pass stick and um i've it's one of the things i do love about this game it's it's that it's not easy it's not as okay i'm in a car that's faster than in a straight line so as soon as i get behind you i'm just gonna fly straight past you that's not always the case of course on some tracks some cars that is the case but um it all depends on your corner exit even if you're at in a BMW M6 at Spa, which is ridiculously fast in the first sector. If you're in a car like a Porsche and you can boot it out of that first corner, by the time you get to the Pass de Rouge, they, that's when they're going to be attacking you down that straight. You can actually stick and hold on to your position. It's up to them to sort of set the move up beforehand to actually get that run. So again, we'll see this in slow motion. Um, I start trying to throw a dummy here because I want him to move to the inside a little bit, which is going to give me a better run through this corner he doesn't take the bait straight away but again you watch I go right to the right to make it seem as if I'm gonna maybe die for a move and then he he turns into the corner just a little bit too early and that affects his that affects his run um, going down to the Dunlop to Dunlop hairpin I think it is so um yeah that's what sort of starts to the move there and obviously when you're racing all this stuff happens at a split second but you have to have in your mind where you believe you can overtake these guys and sort of you know when you're behind someone you're being patient you have to learn what parts of the track you're way quicker there wasn't a lot of difference in speed between me and the guy in the Audi but I knew at certain points in the track where my car was definitely faster or where I was faster or whatever so I knew that's where I had to sort of apply the pressure and sort of get him thinking that maybe I'm gonna go for a move that I'm not really gonna go for and you can see just the lines that we're using here this is a line just before um, the, the Dunlop hairpin and this is the complete different line we took for that corner and because I've made him defend he's already at the apex and having to wait to get on the power obviously I've taken the wider line in so I can get on the power much much quicker so um yeah it always uh it always for me it always definitely benefits you to to think about your moves and try and try and adjust to um their drive and try and adjust to their strength so you know exactly where you can attack and that's all in the, the the planning of your moves like you have to plan your moves in this game you see again the slow motion because of the the angle that i didn't i didn't force him to take but i i gave him that doubt in his mind that i might try dive um, on the inside of that corner so he covered it because he thought there was an opportunity of being passed but in doing that he also left himself open for the next corner and that's what it's all about and um yeah i i, I love the racing the world to world racing on this game absolutely love it and I never sort of, I never got that feeling on P cars because on P cars I just felt like if the guy was in a faster car behind you, you just couldn't really do anything. It was very hard to defend it. Um, and on P cars, a lot of the stuff in there was like you could just get everything done just by slamming on the brakes later than the guy, um, the guy in front of you. And it's not, it's not really like that on a set of course uh, competition. And here in the Bentley, this one was a unique situation because again, you will see, I'll take the the wider line into the corner, and I actually he actually outbreaks himself a little bit. So I get the run on the inside, but the unique situation is the Lamborghini is so fast down the straight com compared to the Bentley, I could not actually, I couldn't make the move stick. So I had to keep planning my move. I had to keep being patient and keep planning my move. Um, after the first time didn't work, I had to plan it all over again. So you see me coming to turn one and he's able to break quite late, but this time I'm on the inside and I just make sure there's not enough he doesn't break uh, late enough so he can have the complete corner so what I do is I break I break a little bit early so I can get the run again so I can get the switch back but again you'll see how much faster the Lamborghini is on the straight I'm having to evaluate what I'm going to do next all the time so for this corner I knew that if he outbreaks me again 
I can't let him get the full car length in front of me. So I keep it tight, but I make it so tight for him on the exit that he cannot get on the accelerator without hitting me. So therefore, I've put my car in a place where he's either going to hit me, which would have been his fault, or I'm going to get the better run out of the corner. So um, again, we'll, we'll go for the move again. And obviously this move starts on the previous lap, but you see going through this corner again, you see I take the wider line in, um, he takes a shallower line and that that's that's what starts off this whole sort of uh, chain reaction of events and um, as we go through the corner he runs a little bit wide I plant it on the apex I'm able to get on the throttle way quicker but he's got so much straight line speed it was so hard to get this move done and this is why I was stuck behind this guy for ages in this race ages 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 and it you just need to get within that that sort of three tenths of a second where you're getting the slipstream and look as soon as I'm out of the slipstream his car is just way quicker than mine and again as we get to uh, turn one I'm gonna stop it and you see at this moment he's still ahead but I needed to make sure he wasn't able to sort of cut right across me so he could get a better run uh, down the second straight so you see I leave my car in there I leave the nose in there uh, making sure he goes wide knowing that he there's no way he can now get a good exit from this corner so I just be patient, wait for the switch back, get on the throttle first. Even though I knew, Jesus, this guy is super fast down the straight, I knew I would probably initially at least get past him, as you'll see I actually do. I actually managed to uh, beat him on acceleration just because of the tight nature he took the corner before. And um, yeah, as we run down to the second chicane, again, um, he's just super fast down the straight. I was actually surprised he was pretty late on the brakes as well the Bentley normally pretty good on the brakes but he was very late on the brakes and um, as we come up to the second chicane now this is where I, I'm not gonna lie I was quite surprised he actually managed to keep it around the outside but after after I realized that um, you know this guy is defending really hard at this point right here this is where I squeeze him right towards the curb and make it sure he's only got a car's whip space there's not a lot he can do apart from really back out and move and um, yeah, all the time when you're racing, it's just important to keep planning, man. But I hope this quick video helps you guys um, who may be not as experienced with overtaking, overtaking a set of course of competition. I know it's quite easy to make a mistake and hit cars ahead, but yeah, um, for me, uh, as long as you're planning your moves, as long as you're patient, you will get stuff done. But anyway, it's TMG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.